Welcome to this video that will provide an overview of an exciting new capability for cloud computing from ANSYS Electronics Desktop. ANSYS Cloud runs on Microsoft Azure data centers worldwide and accelerates the performance of large electromagnetic simulations. It gives you real-time access to ANSYS EM solvers and high-performance computing capabilities and on-demand compute resources. Depending upon the size of your problem, scale your HPC and storage capacity up or down to match your needs. To use ANSYS Cloud, you need a license of one of these ANSYS electromagnetic simulators. Each user needs a subscription for the ANSYS Cloud service and your company needs access to a pool of ANSYS Elastic units. For any EM design and electronics desktop, you can submit a job to the cloud, monitor the solution, view job states and download results. To see this in action, we will solve this HFS's design of a PCB assembly in the cloud. The PCB is populated with a number of HFS's 3D components. They include resistors, capacitors, inductors, as well as HDMI, USB, and flat cable connectors. Let's configure a solution setup. If you are uncertain about the best frequencies for adapting the mesh, define an auto setup. Broadband adaptive meshing in the HFSS auto setup eliminates this uncertainty because it automatically determines the appropriate frequencies to adapt the mesh. All you have to do now is move the slider bar as needed and enter a desired frequency sweep. Open the design settings dialog. Select this checkbox to avail the option of retrieving only the touchstone file from the cloud to your local directory for saving disk space. Pick ANSYS Cloud as the scheduler. Once you log into ANSYS Cloud, the scheduler information is updated. Now, right-click the setup and select Submit Job from the shortcut menu. If a project has multiple setups, submit all or a single setup. Choose the nearest data center. Here are the available compute resource configurations. I'll select extra large for this simulation. Enter a suitable job name. Hit this button to submit the job from your workstation to the cloud. A copy of the project is encrypted and submitted to the cloud. You will get an email at the start and completion of your job. Cloud computing is also supported for ANSYS Q3D Extractor and ANSYS Maxwell. The job submission process is the same. Open the Monitor dialog. From the list of submitted jobs, select a project. I'll pick the HFSS project of the connector PCB assembly. This field shows real-time job status. Each submission has a unique job ID. Hit this button to launch the ANSYS Cloud Portal to view the progress of your simulations. This site lets you monitor your jobs remotely. The dashboard on this web page provides a quick summary of your jobs, account balance, usage, etc. Go to the My Jobs page. This table provides the current state, start and finish times, and storage usage for your jobs. When you submit a job to the cloud, you consume ANSYS Elastic units. The number of units used depends upon the job size and HPC configuration. Click one of these jobs to view its details. Select Main Transcript to display this job's real-time information. This running transcript captures step-by-step -step informational messages about the various processes related to the simulation. Open the profile. The profile is a log of the tasks performed during the simulation. For each phase of the analysis, it reports the real-time, CPU time, memory, and additional applicable data. You can also view the convergence data and plots during or after the solution process. Go back to Electronics Desktop now. When the job completes successfully, the results are downloaded automatically to your local computer. 
you can either download the complete solved project or just download S parameters, in other words, the touchstone file. This command automatically creates a download folder in your local directory to place the touchstone file. I'll now import the solution to generate the reports on my local machine. I'll browse to the directory and import the touchstone file. Press this button to load the touchstone file. Press import. This dialog lists all of the current imports. I'll point to my imported data and press OK. Let's generate a return loss report. Be sure to select the imported solution. From quantity, select only self terms. Choose the terms from this list and press new report to generate the plot. The touch panel in Q3D Extractor in the electric motor design in Maxwell also solved in the cloud. The results are shown here. You can see that the charge density changes as the tip of the finger slides on the touch screen. In this animation, the magnetic field intensity on the stator and the rotor changes as the motor begins to operate. ANSYS Cloud offers an efficient way to solve electromagnetic designs faster with high performance computing and provides great flexibility to utilize additional compute resources on demand. Solve the problems of limited compute resources and get to market faster with ANSYS Cloud. Thanks for watching.